How's it going, everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. That time of year has arrived. It's time for Notre Dame football. This will be my ninth season of talking Notre Dame football here on YouTube. Eight years in total, of course, of doing videos overall. Um, you know, it, it, where's the time gone, guys? It seems like just yesterday I just pulled out my camera and decided to take a shot at YouTube and have some fun on here. And here we are eight years later. Doesn't seem real. But look, um, before I get to previewing uh, week one, I just have a little message for uh, for all the assholes out there that I'm sure I'm going to encounter this season, uh, whether it be from someone who just happens to stumble across my videos here on YouTube, from a message board, and so on. And, uh, and I'm not talking about people who, you know, are like, haha, you know, you like this team. I'm talking about the ones who will decide to go after me personally, uh, whether it be my looks, what I say, whatever. You know, personal attacks. Hey, eight years. In that time, yes, I've had moments where I've been at my lowest. I've had times on here where I've, you know, bitched about different kinds of drama that, that was going on at certain points. But guess what? I'm still here, and I'm still going strong. And all you sons of bitches, all you keyboard tough guys... You're not going to run me off. And you know what? I don't plan on stopping these videos anytime soon. So, you haven't ran me off yet. You're never going to. So, all I can say is bring it on, you bastards. So, with that said, let's get to week one here for the Irish. First opponent up, the Temple Owls. Now, Temple, uh, as we all know, just lost their head coach, uh, Matt Rule, who went to take the job at Baylor. But this is a Temple Isles program that has really come on strong in recent years. Uh, we last played them a couple years ago in 2015, and they gave us a run for our money. Um, it took us scoring a, a touchdown within the last minute to uh, to win the game. Uh, Kaiser to Kaiser to Fuller in the back corner of the end zone. Very fun game to watch. <laughs> so this is a this is a Temple team that you know they have a lot of talent. They're they're really. Uh, becoming a force to reckon with in the college football world. So you can't take them lightly. Now, there was going to be a lot of question marks for them. Uh, their defense is, is still going to be pretty strong as they have been in recent years. Offense is going to be a question mark. So, But still, though, like I said, this is not a team to sleep on. Um, as far as we're concerned, um, the big concern that I have for us is our defense. And the concern isn't necessarily a bad one. It's just, uh, you know, new defensive coordinator and Mike Elko, who really has a, a successful track record with all the work that he's done at Wake Forest. And, um, you know, if he, can take, if he can take that defense down there and turn them into a top 40 defense, then what he can do with our defense after what happened last year, I have a lot of confidence in him. I really do. But we're just going to have to wait and see and see how that pans out because... As all of us Irish fans know, our defense was pretty horrendous last year. Um, just a lot of a big a big mess. You know, you had you started off last season with Brian Van Gorder, whose schemes were not working. I've said that a million times in the past. And then you throw a you throw a, a Greg Hudson into the mix to just take over on such short notice. He was thrown to the wolves. And despite how we finished last season, I give him all the credit in the world. You know, to just to just step in and do the best that he could with what he had. That shows a lot about Greg Hudson's character, and I I hope he uh, has a lot of a lot of luck in the future. But as far as uh, the offensive side of things go, I'm not really worried about about our offense. You know, we have the the regular cast of characters coming back, a strong offensive line. Brandon Wimbush, he's going to be taking over the quarterback position. We've seen flashes of him in the past, and you know he has the speed. He has a solid arm. I liked what I saw out of him in the blue and gold game uh, back in the spring. And then you got running back, jo uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Josh Adams, Dexter Williams, um, Equinemius St. Brown at the at the receiver position. So there's a, there's a lot of firepower on, on our offense, and I'm not really concerned with them. Offensive coordinator, oh, sorry guys. <sighs> Now, normally this would be the part where I restart, but I'm on a roll here, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, I don't care about the little mistake there. Um, but 
our new offensive coordinator, Chip Long, who came came to us from Memphis, he has a great track record of uh, you know uh, running very a uh, very successful offense, very fast paced, very quick. And sorry about this, guys. <laughs> but um, so I think uh, what we're gonna we're gonna see a very uh, a very explosive Irish offense like we've never seen before. Um, but of course, I can't. I can't really accurately predict it because regardless of how good uh, Chip Long's track record is, it's still the first game. You know, guys, are, the offense still has to get used to his system. So there might be some mistakes. I mean, that's to be expected. But I, I still see us having no problem moving, ball, moving the ball down the field and scoring. So considering the fact that this is uh, the first game of the season with, uh, with two new uh, coordinators... I see Notre Dame winning this game. It's not I don't see us blowing Temple out, but I see us uh easily winning by at least two scores. So my final score prediction for this for week one against Temple in the 2017 season, I'm gonna say Notre Dame wins it 34 to 17. So there you go, guys. Um that's my that's my preview for week one of uh the 2017 Notre Dame football season. And you know, like like every season, just like players and coaches, I got to get in the groove of things, and uh, I hope to uh, try to improve as the season moves along. So a very simple week one preview. Um, again, it's the first game. We got a lot to a lot to figure out. A lot of uh, you know, basically we got to find our our identity here. And we one thing is for sure, this season we have got to bounce back from that that horrendous four and eight season. We can't have that at Notre Dame. We're too good of a program to uh, to stoop to that, you know, that level. Well, that's well, that's the wrong way to describe it. But with the talent we pull in, we should never only we should never have a record like that. So, with that said, guys, before I start rambling, I'm gonna cut this video off here. So, with that said, I uh, I'm glad to be back for another season. I I hope you hope uh, you guys enjoy watching these videos over the season. So, with that said. I say to all of you, God bless, and as always, Go Irish, baby!